You're watching ABC 27 HD's Hometown Sports with Dave Griffiths. Welcome into your Monday Sunrise Sports. An old football coach in Butte, Montana told me once, the season is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. Well, that is certainly true with our spring sports schedule winding down. That'll take up most of our weekend rewind today. But we start our top five stories from the past two days in NASCAR. Rick Hendrick and Hendrick Motorsports. Hendrick earns his 200th career Sprint Cup victory with Jimmy Johnson winning the Bojangles Southern 500 Saturday evening at Darlington. Johnson has 56 wins in his career for Hendrick, second only to Jeff Gordon's 85. Hendrick has been an odor since 1984. Number four, Florida State softball in the NCAA tournament. The Knowles will have to pack a few bags. They got a long trip ahead of them. They're heading out west to Los Angeles, one of four teams in the UCLA region, with the Bruins hosting. The two other teams beside the Seminoles are Hofstra and FSU's first opponent, that is San Diego State. Number three, more softball on the prep level. Florida High is into the Florida Class 4A title game with a 1-0 win on Sunday against Keystone Heights. Taylor Rossman throwing a complete game from the mound, from the circle rather, nine strikeouts. Next, they'll get Gulver Prep, the two-time defending state champions. Number two, even more softball? Well, you betcha. Division II Super Regionals, Valdosta State taking two games from Florida Southern. They qualify for nationals for the second time in three years. The Blazers are one of the top teams in the nation. They have been all year long. They leave today for Louisville and begin play Wednesday. Finally, the top story from the weekend. Questions are rising about Florida State's conference affiliation, and it's more than just internet message board fodder. Several leaders from the university commenting on a rumored move to the Big 12. FSU Board of Trustees Chairman Andy Haggard said to Warchant.com Saturday, with the SEC making the kind of money it does, it's time to act. You can't sit back and be content in the ACC. This is a different time financially. This isn't 10 to 15 years ago when money was rolling in. He would go on to say, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I can say that unanimously we would be in favor of seeing what the Big 12 might have to offer. Well, those words caused a bit of the stir in the president's office. President Dr. Eric Barron responding, Florida State is not seeking an alternative to the ACC, nor are we considering alternatives. Our current commitments remain strong. And that'll do it for this week's Weekend Rewind. That's also a wrap on your Monday morning Sunrise Sports. Now back to the news desk.